Hey gamers, Tony here from the classically.com gaming electronic podcast also with the Hapog Gaming Zone. I'm real excited and I want to welcome you to my office. Got a window behind me, obviously got some full metal alchemist art going on up there in the corner. Gaming PC over here and who knows what's going on in this crazy bookshelf over here. But anyways, welcome and I have these cool little things which I'm going to talk about because tonight on this video I am showing you how to capture high definition PC gameplay footage using this sexy little device here. This is the Hapog HD PVR Rocket. Just hit the market this week. It's a portable capture solution. It's really, really amazing. And I encourage you to watch my unboxing um, and a specs video because it kind of goes over a little bit more about this device. But we're going to show you how to capture high definition PC gameplay with the Hapog HD PVR Rocket. In addition, I'll be powering all the graphics in this video with the HIS Digital R9 270X uh, mid to high range graphics card. This is the first graphics card I've got my hands on from the brand new AMD R9 series, so thanks to HIS Digital for sending it over. But it's a 2 gigabyte card. It's powered by IceQX2 cooling technology, those big freaking fans on there. So awesome. And I'm excited to be powering the gameplay used in tonight's video with this graphics card. So I'm going to show you how to hook this up to this with your gaming PC to record high definition PC footage on this device. So let's take a closer look at the graphics card, what's kind of powering behind tonight's video. Then we'll dive in how to hook this up and then I'll show you how to just put it all together and make it work. Here we go. Alright, so I've got the HIS Digital R9 270X card right here in front of me on top of the box. And as you'll see, these giant cooling fans here. And this, so this is called the IceQ X2 technology from HIS Digital. And I have to tell you, this card, even at full load, runs really cool. I've been using it for about a month now, testing it out. And I've been very impressed with how cool this card runs and how quiet it is. Underneath here you have a nice steel structure that runs all the way through and what I found is that this takes a lot of the pressure off of your PCI slot. It doesn't feel like it's too heavy of a card in that slot. And you have some nice solid cooling pipes here which uh, work really really well to keep this card cooler. And on the end we've got an HDMI port, we've got two mini display ports and a DVI port as well. So I'm going to go ahead and move this here over to the side. Just show you off the box that it comes in in a, a little bit here. Obviously it can uh, handle PCI 3.0. It's a 2 gigabyte GDDR5 card, which is very, very strong. This kind of compares, the 270 series compares a lot to the 7870. So you're going to be able to really run some games uh, at 1080p in uh, high to ultra detail. Uh, also is 4K and 2K Ultra HD ready and it is factory overclocked to this version as well. There's a couple different uh, SKUs from HIS Digital in the R9 270X series. Uh, this one is the Turbo, it is factory overclocked and you can click on the link in the description below to find out more. So let's go ahead and uh, dive into setting up how you're going to go ahead and connect this card with the HD PVR Rocket to record high definition PC gameplay. Alright, so the setup is actually incredibly simple for this device to get high definition PC capture going. Obviously, I've got the R9 270X from HIS Digital, and this has obviously got to be set in your PCI board on your gaming PC. But just for purposes of showing the setup, I've left it out and then I'll put it in for the next part of the video. But the setup's fairly simple. You're going to run HDMI out, which is going to take your high definition audio and video out of the HIS Digital R9 270X. You're going to run it to the input of the Hapog HD PVR rocket. Then you're going to take the other HDMI uh, output of the rocket and you're, that's the one you're going to take into your computer monitor. And then of course my favorite part, one of my favorite parts of the rocket is that there's no external power cord or no separate power cord. It's simply USB power. So you're going to run this USB cable here output to your PC to give it power and then it also gives you the versatility to use it traditionally or capturing mobily or mobily that's not even a word but portably on this device and so I'm actually going to flip it around a little bit here and show you as well this is the front of the HD PVR rocket device and I have a USB thumb drive here you can use USB 2.0 or 3.0 
I do recommend uh, one that's rated a pretty good write speeds. And it has a 3.5 millimeter uh, jack there as, re as well for uh, microphone in, so you can do gaming commentary on the fly as well. And so this is really all that you need uh, to capture high definition PC gameplay because it captures it right to the thumb drive and gets your commentary. And if you look at the top of the device, there's obviously the record, start, stop button if you want to record sections of gameplay. And then obviously we have microphone uh, input because the audio, audio mixer is built in. If you're doing uh, game commentary, you can just simply touch that and it lights up. Touch that to mute and then slide your finger for uh, volume control. So that's the entire setup there for the HIS Digital R9-270X and the Hapog HD PVR Rocket device. Let's go ahead and bounce over to a setup and I'll show you how to capture the footage. Okay gamers, well I'm here with my gaming PC. I have my HIS Digital R9-270X with the Ice Q X2 cooling built right in, stays nice and cool. As mentioned before, I have an HDMI cable running out of the video card into the HD PVR rocket, out of the HD PVR rocket, and into my computer monitor. And then I have the USB cable going right back into the gaming PC to provide this device with power. For the first time with Hapog on these gaming capture devices, there's no separate power cord, which is really, really nice and one of my favorite features about the HD PVR rocket, making it truly portable also have my USB thumb drive here as I mentioned in detail before and I wanted to show you really quick some of the versatility of this device now a lot of people have asked me how do I use a USB mic with it because all it has is a 3.5 millimeter jack on the front of it with the audio mixer and that's one of the cool things when capturing on a gaming PC is since I already have it hooked up like I used to have my HD PVR2 hooked up I can simply plug in my USB mic into the computer and open up Hapog Capture software and simply select the microphone that I want to use. So if I have the USB mic plugged in I can select that for my gaming commentary and adjust the volume levels uh, through the software. Now, so the versatility I mentioned is that the fact that I can record through Hapog Capture software in the traditional sense like I always have before with my HD PVR2. So if I want the rocket to be that device, if I'm not at a friend's house, if I'm not looking to record some footage from my living room, if I'm right here by my gaming PC, I can go ahead and hook it up in the traditional sense and do it that way and it will capture the footage directly to my gaming PC. Now obviously I have it hooked up through my USB port here and I want to show you how it can record gaming footage without using any of your PC resources, doing all the encoding right here in the device without using anything on Hapog Capture. And before I do that, I just want to mention uh, really quick one of the new features with the Rocket as well and the new software is before, I don't know if you can see this little meter down here in the corner, but Hapog devices have been limited to 14 megabytes per second um, recording quality and now that can be increased to 18, which you will have to change in Hapog Capture software. You can see it kind of recycling here. And uh, I always liked 14, so I'm going to go right back to 14 but it's really really cool that they've increased that speed so I'm gonna go ahead and take it right back here to 14 it will recycle again and I'm gonna go ahead and actually close out Hapal Capture software because I want to show you that it's possible to record high definition gaming PC footage right here on the device in the USB thumb drive so I'm gonna close this out it will recycle again and that's simply because it's now switching the entire signal to being dealt with through here, not dealing anything with the Apollo Capture software anymore. And that's really the beauty of the HD PVR Rocket device. You can capture PC game footage in addition to a plethora of other things without using any of the other resources. It's going right here to the thumb drive, which is amazing. So I also wanted to show you that the HIS Digital R9-270X has a really, really impressive um, spec set when coming to a mid-range graphics card and so when I go ahead and open up Call of Duty Ghost which I'm playing a game that came out just a couple weeks ago you know one of the and I fall into this category as well not every gamer can afford a, a Titan graphics card or an R9 290X 
And so a lot of us don't have $500 sitting around to throw in just into a graphics card at a gaming PC. And so that's what I love about the 270 series and especially this one from HIS Digital. The R9 270X is it's a medium range graphics card you can pick up for around $200. Uh, if you're interested in finding out more, click on the link in the description below. But you can pick it up for around $200 and uh, get really great medium to high to ultra range settings and 1080p on many of today's modern games and so it's a it's a you can go out and make a two hundred dollar investment and still play all the latest games at a really high quality setting and so even here on um, call of duty ghost i have a resolution of 1920 by 1080 playing it at full screen when i go into advanced video i have everything set at normal to high settings i can use vsync if i want to I can change the terrain levels. Um, I have it set at uh, automatic texture quality, which is a mixture of normal and high settings, anti-aliasing um, at two times MSAA. I have shadows on, distortion on, motion blur on. Um, I have an anastropic filtering at low, uh, terrain detail on, uh, screen space ambient occlusion off and depth of field yes and so I have overall image quality at normal I know that's a lot of specs to throw out but I just wanted to show you that this really that this HIS digital R9 270X can really run things at medium to high settings so it makes it a really nice $200 card I'm gonna go ahead and back out of this apply these settings pull my trusty controller out here Oops, sorry, it's saving my graphic setting. And it just crashed. No, it didn't. It's coming back. Sorry. Ah, oh, the joys of gaming PC. There we go. Now we're loading. So, sorry about that. I was just going back to a loading screen. I don't know if you've had any of these issues with Call of Duty Ghost on the consoles, but the PC version, even with my high-end graphics card that I normally have in here, it like stutters at these loading screens and then goes back to playing fine during the game and any of the cutscenes. So we're going to go ahead and get uh, through this little stuttering loading screen here. And I think that's uh, something that they're maybe working through at Activision Infinity Ward um, with the, the PC version only. I'm not really sure. I, I think I did read an article on it. but So as we jump into this game here, you're going to notice the green light here around the HD PVR rocket. And that means that it's ready to record which is what we want and so since it's ready to record all I have to do is hit this red button and we'll be right in to recording so once this last piece of loading pops up here we'll be ready to dive right into the game and start recording which is really the best part hey there we go so I'm just gonna simply hit this button and now you'll see a red ring around it, which means we're recording. So we can dive into the game and I can start to get my ass kicked in Call of Duty, which is a fairly normal occurrence. Hey, I killed one guy, just remember that. And so I'm recording with no slowdown because I'm not using any PC resources, which is amazing. And I really love that about the HD PVR rocket. Please feel free to comment on my horrible Call of Duty skills. Uh, I've never claimed to be a professional. That's right, headshot punks. And so I'm going to go ahead and close out this video. I really like the HIS Digital R9 270X graphics card. I'm going to recommend that. Like I said, you can click on the link in the description below to pick that one up. If you're looking for a nice mid to high range uh, graphics card for the PC, in addition, I'll put a link to the HD PBR Rocket. Um, you can pick it up now on Amazon, and really it's just a great combination if you want to uh, capture high-definition PC footage and commentary as well. And I'm going to exit this video by showing you this footage that we've been capturing in 1080p HD. So this has been Tony from the Hapog Gaming Zone, also from Classic Elite. I'm signing off. Make sure you like, favorite, and subscribe. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day. I'm sorry about my voice. I got a little bit of a cold. Get off my back.